so we've arrived at Destiny's Atrium <coughs> and um, decided to start the video off with a nice flourish. Um, pretty intense battle in here. Um, we've got an ogre to contend with as well as some uh, warthogs. Um, this is a, a you know God of War 2 101, just uh, typical. Um, just uh, you start out with one ogre, and then you have uh, warthogs as kind of like uh, you know little enemies with this huge ass enemy, and then you have uh, uh, the the count of the ogres multiplied by two in the next wave. So that's just how God of War works. Um, those that seems to be kind of the trend. In in every God of War game that I played, I played them all, um, beat them all in the hardest difficulties. Um, they start you off with like one ogre, then they multiply it. Um, they also tend to throw like little weaklings in, like these uh, warthogs. Um, these guys are grabbable enemies, and uh, when the ogre grabs them um, and throws them at you, they you can block. So just make sure you're blocking. You can't block any of the ogre's attacks. So um, this is going to be a, a pretty long um, battle here. I think it's almost six minutes long. Um, so just be constantly evading. Um, you're going to have to be doing the same kind of shit on um, uh, the barbarian in the next uh, video. Here I'm going to block right there. And once he throws that body at you, uh, you, you can't pick it up or anything. It's pretty much dead. Um, so nice, we got in a nice power hit there. Managed to skate uh, skate by without getting hit. Um, you got to do the quick time event a about three times, I think, on these ogres before they fall. Um, they're pretty damn tough. Now these aren't the. Uh, don't confuse these enemies with the cyclopses. Um, out of whose um, bodies you rip the eyes out. And it's a trophy. Oh, excuse me. I think there's a trophy for getting like 20 of those things. Um, it's not really possible to do that in game. You need to go to the. Uh, <coughs> You need to go to the challenge arena, and uh, you, you can get it there. You can't. It's possible to get it uh, later on in the game, um, where there's like a huge wave of them. But it's not really practical, especially on this difficulty. So um, now we have two ogres, and the thing about this is that there's no more warthogs, so you don't have to worry about those guys. Um, these guys, yeah, you cannot you cannot block any single attack of theirs. So that means you have to constantly be evading and doing uh, quick swipes. If you can get that move in right there, it's a great move. I still have the, the blades at level 2. I just fought the Barbarian. I, I still had the blades at level 2. So it's uh, really kind of ridiculous how long it takes just to upgrade to level 3. It's, but it's nice to be able to get in that, um, that, that move right there. These ogres aren't really tough. They just... Uh, it's just... A hassle to have to keep dodging and evading, and uh, it's pretty intense because the the controller vibrates and stuff. It's uh, it's fun. This is a, like the, one of the best games I've ever played. Um, the best series, hands down. Best uh, third person hack and slash um, slash um, uh, sword and sorcery kind of thing. Great great game. I never played combat this this good. I mean, this is like the best I've ever played. Um, Several people have t recommended the, the game Dark Souls to me, and they said that that combat's even better. I don't think so. I, I don't believe that that's true. I don't see how that could be possible. Because, first of all, that's not a really a good game to compare this game to, because that had, it's such like an RPG title. Um, it is third person, and it's uh, like hack and slash, but it's... Uh, it's, it's a lot stiffer combat. It's not like such... This game has a lot more flexibility. Um, so I'm not saying that that game is bad or anything. I'm just saying I've never really played it, but I've seen a lot of videos of it and stuff. And it's just I don't think that, that game. Um, I probably won't ever play that game. I, I just don't like RPG games. And uh, I just got it's going to be a ton of games coming up pretty soon that I'm trying to play. So um, I got a lot of okay. So that right there I missed. Um, I'm going to take this guy down. And also, I wanted to mention that the reason I um, didn't get any of the chests up there is because uh, I kept... It takes a lot... It takes a couple times to do this part, and if you grab the chests and then run down here and die, you uh, those chests up there and all the breakable objects, they just stay there. So um, they only don't... I mean, they only s stay clear off the map if... Uh, 
you succeed. So it's just I just get them afterwards. It's not it's no big deal. And right there, I hesitated to get that magic chest, but actually, I would recommend uh, getting that chest because um, you need all the magic you can uh, have on on hand for the barbarian battle. So I actually did backtrack and get and got that one chest that I missed. So uh, so here we're just moving some statues, and it seems that you can line that one up in one shot right there, and it just gets in there, uh, provided you do that uh, when you're holding R1, you hold the X button too, and get and until he growls all the way and then you release the button um, so this is the uh, the second statue that you need to move and uh, just pull this lever and then the uh, this block is going to move all the way down then you just need to push this uh, statue onto the block then hit the lever again and then jump onto the block the thing here is that there's a little uh, dip in the pavement that you can't move this statue on so you have to you know, get get a little height advantage so you could fling this stat, uh, push it over that little dip in the pavement. So that's the idea behind that. Um, this uh, th this little the the logic of that little puzzle that we just did. So uh, broke that break breakable object, and we get a cutscene. So this is an area that we'll we'll be you know coming back to this area. This is like the uh, central area for a while. Um, in some parts are just not accessible. Like uh, I believe you saw like the the little pit over to the right where um, you can uh, you have to parry. We don't we can't parry yet. So here's the items that I originally passed by because I knew that I was going to be coming back to them. I didn't want to have to keep re-getting them every time. So it took me a few times. Um, just remember, smash every piece of pottery, every board you can find. Um, because, like I said, I still don't have enough to get the blades up to level 3. Um, so, um, what's going on here is I have not even upgraded a single thing at this point. I have not spent a single orb on anything. So, um, I kind of save my orbs until the point where I can start actually making a full purchase so to speak um, in the upgrade list um, what I don't like to do is waste a bunch of orbs until I actually can use one so I, I think my first upgrade is going to be getting those blades actually I'm pretty much positive and, and I'll be when I do it I'll tell everybody I'll be telling everybody exactly what I'm upgrading every single time so my first purchase is going to be upgrading those blades to level 3 because this is getting ridiculous you know, here we are in the Barbarian boss battle almost, and we still have our blades at level 2. Um, anyway, head on down here and hit the save point. And uh, before the cutscene up here, you're going to be... They kind of dangle a couple chests out of your reach. But one of them is the uh, one of three uber chests that you can collect in this game. And they collect... Um, excuse me, they contain a uh, shit ton of orbs. So you definitely want to come back to this area after everything's said and done and get those uh, those orbs. Um, because you can also get a trophy for those too. So um, next video is the Barbarian boss battle.